There are two things that you can do as a parent or a coach for your player when they're young that will give them the best chance to reach these high and rare goals and dreams. Coach Clay here. The biggest fear I have as a parent and a coach is that my son one day will develop a huge desire, a strong passion for the game of baseball, start dreaming big, wanting to play college ball, wanting to get drafted into the pros, and I will look back and realize that there were things I could have done to help give him the best chance possible to reach these big dreams, but I had failed to do that, and his failure to reach those dreams will partly fall on me and my lack of knowledge on what to do when he's young to prepare him to dream big and to have a realistic shot of reaching those dreams. Playing professionally is a huge deal. The odds that a player is going to reach that level are very small, but it is a fun dream to have, and it's a great goal to have to keep us motivated when we're young. Playing college baseball or college softball is a little more realistic, but still very difficult in terms of reaching that goal. But there are two things that you can do as a parent or a coach that will give them the best chance to reach these high and rare goals and dreams. The first thing you can do, and if you can do it young, get them excited about the sport of basketball and get them a hoop in their driveway that they have access to and can shoot every day. Take your kid to a basketball game, local high school, local college, put some rewards on them making baskets, spending time in the driveway shooting at that hoop, dribbling that ball. The reason we want to do this at a young age and the reason this is going to help them become a better ball player is that to be a great baseball or softball player, you must be a great athlete. Baseball and softball, playing a lot of it, does not build or create athleticism. The number one sport you can play that will develop and build athleticism, increase athleticism, is the sport of basketball. Foot speed, balance, being able to cut, being able to control something with your hands, develop touch, power, cardiovascular fitness. These are all things we get when we play the game of basketball. Even if we're just shooting at a hoop on our driveway, we're going to start developing these athletic skills and athletic abilities that are gonna bleed over into the sport of baseball. The best baseball and softball players are the best athletes, and just playing baseball or softball is not gonna make you an athlete. Now, other sports do help, football, soccer. They can give you the strength in terms of football. They can give you the foot speed and balance in terms of soccer. But no sport is as complete at building an athlete than basketball. Basketball is typically the most fun sport to play. When I grew up, I spent more time shooting at a basketball hoop than I did anything else athletically. The thing about basketball is that basketball at some point your physical stature is going to prevent you from moving forward. If you're just 5'10", there's going to be a point where you're going to only be so effective at a certain level. Whereas baseball, that's going to be less impactful. The second thing that you can do for your kid is invest in the skills of baseball at the earliest age possible. I've used the analogy of investing before. Every swing you take is like a dollar put in your investment account. Every throw you make, every ball you catch with a glove is a dollar that you've thrown into a mutual fund or a total stock market index fund. If you put that money in at age four and five and six, let's say you put 10,000 swings in, 10,000 throws, 10,000 catches by the time you're seven, 
that's gonna be worth a lot more when you turn 12 than those 10,000 swings being taken at nine, 10, 11, just like an investment account. If you can invest in those skills early, whether it's coercing your child, making his 100 swings off the tee, um, a part of going to get milkshakes or getting to do something fun and building a habit where they associate swings, associate playing catch with time with mom and dad. If you can get those skills repeated over and over at a young age and put money into that investment account, it's going to pay dividends. Whatever you have to do, a group lesson at a facility down the road that the kid enjoys, camps, clinics, flipping the wiffle ball in the backyard, getting the neighborhood kids over, setting up a wiffle ball field in the backyard, getting out there, spending time with your kid. If they like spending time with you, disguise it with games, right? Challenges. The more skills, the more reps you can get at an early age, the better you're going to set themselves up at a later age if and when they start to feel that desire and passion and start to dream big. And whether they succeed or fails on them, and hopefully you can help them to enjoy the journey, enjoy the challenge, and whether they make it or come up short, they can have some really solid life experiences on the way. If you like this video, do me a solid, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Got more to come this year. Hopefully, we'll see you down the road.